Hey guys, this is another Questions with Dr. Rob where you ask the question and I do my best to give you the answer. So today's question comes from at Chris Sinda, that's Chris with a K, and they ask a question specifically, uh, can herbs that stimulate the immune system aggravate autoimmune diseases like Hajimoto's? The answer to that question, coming right up. Uh, but before I give it, please click the subscribe button, share this information with your friends. Why? Sharing is caring, and hopefully this is some good info for you. So Chris Sinda, to answer your question, absolutely. If you have an autoimmune disease, guys, this is real important, so please listen up on this one. If you have an autoimmune disease like rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, psoriasis, lupus, Hajimoto's, type 1 diabetes, which yes, is an autoimmune disease, if you have an autoimmune disease and you're taking immunostimulating herbs, they can sometimes aggravate your condition. What are immunostimulating herbs? These are things like elderberry, echinacea, golden seal. What do they do? Echinacea stimulates the amount of white blood cells your body makes and also stimulates the speed at which those white blood cells move. So echinacea is making a lot more white blood cells and it's also making them move a lot faster. This is great if you have a virus or a cold and you're using the herb for a short period of time, a couple days, maybe a week, maybe two at the most. But if you're taking this for a long time, like I wanna have long-term immune support, so I take elderberry throughout the entire winter months and I have an autoimmune disease, you gotta be cautious. And the reason why you have to be cautious is if we're causing an increased production in white blood cells and we're activating the immune system and we're suffering from an autoimmune disease, the immune system can then get more aggressive and attack our autoimmune disease. What does that mean? It means rheumatoid symptoms get worse. I've actually seen type one diabetics take echinacea or immune stimulating supplements and their blood sugars go through the roof. No food, no carbohydrates, no sugar, just the herb. Why? Because we stimulated the immune system and the immune system attacked the pancreas cells, the beta cells in the pancreas. So they were not able to make any insulin at all. So the blood sugar rises even more quickly. So yes, you do have to be cautious. Check with your doctor before you do what I'm gonna tell you right now, but I think you can get away with taking immunostimulating herbs for about one to two weeks. So if you have a cold, flu, infection, you wanna help your body get over it faster, I think you're okay. If you are type one diabetic, you do need to monitor your sugars closely, also monitor your pain and inflammation. If you're a thyroid patient, monitor how you feel symptomatically. Sometimes thyroid cases need a little extra thyroid hormone. Again, talk with your doctor about this. I'm not personally making that recommendation at all but talk with your doctor about that. You might need a little extra of your thyroid medication. Diabetics might need a little more insulin. Um, people that are taking some type of formulation for pain might need a little bit more of that if they're adding or increasing these immunostimulating herbs. But to answer your question, question Chris at Chrisinda, yes, the answer is yes, they can. So do move forward with caution. Know though that these herbs are of the world and uh, you know, God put them here for a reason. If you use them right, they're usually not gonna hurt you, they're gonna help you. So get your herb on, just do it right, be smart, subscribe, share this information with a friend and I will catch you at the next Questions with Dr. Rob.